I wish they would do so much more with. Yeah, uh, that's a shitty gimmick um, for good Axel, records, I think. You know, or Kurt, Kurt's kid. That's exactly. It's just such a shame. Yeah, that's where I was going. He's he released a vignette uh, after Raw last night. It's a twenty second little vignette for himself that I think he made himself, really pushing the idea that he should be a character that is rooted in his father's legacy. So I, at, you're going exactly where I was going here. What's the deal with Curtis Axel? Why why choose to push him like this? Why not make him the son of Mister Perfect? I you know I've never understood it from the beginning. Even the the name McGillicuddy or whatever what that gimmick was is like. It just seems um, almost um, like impossible odds to turn that into any kind of successful storyline. It's like, you know, what do you do with that? You know, I, I don't know. It's it never made a lot of sense to me, and I I think that he's a lot. He's a really a wasted talent. I think he's he's uh, you know he's a real talent. Uh, he's every bit I think the the athlete and the performer that his dad was. Yeah, and I just always felt that he was uh, a little bit like Cody Rhodes, where it's like they never quite uh, gave the right things to, Shit, you to make put him, him the Cody star that he was. Wade Barrett, you could have put him with anybody. I think the gimmick they have now is just it's, it's a lot of times they they um they seem to kill off second generation wrestlers. I mean, sometimes it might be because um, trying to push fan, you know, that they have uh, hard feelings <laughs> towards what their dad did. Not that I know of anything that they would begrudge Kurt for, but it, Bulldog was a guy that I know made a lot of enemies in the business, maybe especially when he had drug problems. And uh, I think it's because they want to own your character, though. I don't think it's really yeah. a grudge on anybody. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes like, the why, fact that they they never used uh, him with any kind of uh, real flair, it's like... Yeah, you know, I could see in the beginning that maybe uh, what do you do with them? Like, how do you how do you turn a guy, give him that experience, and get him that? Like, look at Randy Orton. You know, they've done great things for him. Yeah, but he's he's got a real name. He's got his dad's legacy. He's um, you know to 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 give um, give him the same opportunity that uh, Randy's got would be would be really nice. You know, he's, he, he would have a lot more momentum. More people would be talking about him today if you called him Mr. Perfect 2 or something like that. But, uh, you know, I, I'll never understand it. Uh, how they used him and how they brought him in in the first place, it seems so, um, you know, it's yeah. never really going to amount to very much, no matter what, whoever you are as a wrestler, if they give you a gimmick like that and stick you to that. You know, even, um, you know, Heath Slater, um there's another guy that's a real talent and a really good wrestler and a hard worker. And, you know, they always come up with these lame storylines and he's always in them. And uh, it's a shame because he's a real uh, workhorse out there. Yeah. Can you imagine you're coming to the ring right now, Blade and Dallas McGillicuddy, right? And they totally get rid of the heart. <laughs> I feel I feel like there's like an era there, like a couple years back. Like, you know, that's why Harry didn't get his own name. I think that's why they changed Natty's name. Like they try to, you know, that's why Bo Rotundo is not like, you know, it's he's not doesn't have his real name. I feel like it's because they don't want you to have your own character. They don't want you to profit off your own name after you leave there. A lot, like I don't understand now. Like you know, Flair's they daughter own gets your name. name like, they're not making enough money, so they want to own your name and everything that you ever do. And it's, I don't know. I just I think when your dad's when you got a reputation or a history like uh, Colonel a Curtis Axel's got with his dad and that whole backstory, it's like why wouldn't you want to play on that? Or why wouldn't you want to play up on the story of uh, you know Bulldog's kid being Bulldog's kid?